Welcome to the Sage Pastel Payroll in HR Special Rant video. Please take note of these important notices. It is essential that a backup is done before commencing your special run. We advise that you create a new folder in order to easily find your backup if it needs to be restored. Monthly special run is the first run in the month. Click on Setup, Pay Frequencies. Select the month that you want to do the special run for and click the special run tick box. Process a special run as the first run in the month will only be available for the monthly pay frequency. If you tick this check box, you will enter the special run as the first pay run in this period. Clicking Adding Periodic Transactions from the Transaction Filter will allow you to select the transactions that you want to use for the special run from the Transaction Filter. Clear all previous transactions or default transactions will clear the periodic tabs. Please select Clear all previous transactions from the periodic tabs. The transaction filter will now appear. You can either select the transactions that you want to make use of from the left hand side or you can click on the transaction type drop down and select the special run transactions. These are the transactions that are mostly used in the special run. It is essential that you process the pay as you earn, UIF, OID and SDL transactions in your special run. You will see that your monthly frequency is now on the special run. Your default tab will still have all of the transactions, but the periodic tabs will only show the transactions that you've selected in the transaction filter. You will process the earnings that needs to be included in the special run as per normal. Employees that don't need these earnings will just be left as zero. It is important to note that a payroll run needs to be done for all of the employees and paid frequencies. If there are employees that are not supposed to be paid in the special run, leave their earnings as zeros and this will result in a zero placement for these employees. In order to move out of the special run, you need to do a pay period update into the normal run of the monthly pay frequency. UIF is capped at a monthly amount. It is possible that in your first special run, the entire capped amount of the UIF is reached, which will result in your UIF being a zero in your normal run. Weekly special run is the second run. Weekly and fortnightly can only do their special run as a second run in the month. We'll set this up by going to Setup, Pay Frequencies, select the weekly tab, select the month that you want to do the special run in, and check the special run tick box. Click on OK. Please remember that the weekly run is the second run in the month. All wages, leave days and terminations need to be processed before entering your special run for your weekly cycles. In order to go into your special run, you need to do a pay period update. 
The type of pay run for the next period needs to be the special run. You will now be able to select the transactions that you want to include in your special run. Once again, you can choose from the left hand side or select the special run transactions from the drop down. Please ensure to include all statutory transactions. Once you have entered your special run, you will process the earnings that need to be processed as per usual. To move into your next normal run week, you will need to do a pay period update.